Brought to you by an IMI Technology Production. Dreamcast, keeping the dream alive. Get into the new edition of the Genesis Auto Porter by request. Has new features such as MPEG playback and fully synced, any size. Uh, this was a d demonstration of the PL MPEG. It includes the uh, load and return. It also includes a PVR text file viewer, which is themable as well. And you can load any of the of your manuals or your information about your company or whatever like that, and it will load and return, and then you can play the game. Simple as that. It's a quality of life update and a value add. All right, let's get on to it. So, as we can see over here, you want to convert your video and place it in the right place. All you have to do is this. So, you just click MP convert just put any size doesn't matter what uh and put it rename it input mp4 and it will convert it and put it in the right folder to where it should be and convert your video for playback with your product uh how you doing by the way and thanks to all my viewers out there who, and also patrons and new patrons, thank you very much. So we're watching here the conversion. This converts the any uh, MP4 into an MPEG ready to play. Uh, this is the extent of that. All right, we're nearing the completion of the video creation. It will place it in the right folder for you, ready for building. There we go. Now it's complete. So, also, if we can have a look up here, up here, that's right, mate. That's right, mate. Here we go. So, all your text viewer uh, files, so right, left, select, select two, and the music, your overlay, your menu, and your loading, these are all changed to suit your product. Z video is optimized to be the fastest place for your video. From the MPEG creation, that puts it in that folder and in the right bitrate. All music is in here for theme. GUI now. This is the, the Sonic an animation. You can change this to suit your product or game. As you can see, it's pretty simple. This here is where you put your logo, your product, or your information. 
these here create the bars, the rotating bars. This here creates the animation in the background. This here creates the spinning. So you just have to change that yourself to whatever you want. Remember, this is transparent. This is transparent here. Anywhere that's transparent shows through. Here's the new. Uh, these are all just placeholders. I'm not an artist. Uh, you can. It's not like they're connected to anything here. They're just connected to the buttons. So you can make and design any type of design you want. You've got B, A, and Y now. So this is a placeholder. There we go. Text file, as you can see, is just info.text. Now make sure that you make sure that you make it to a margin of five. You see there? Text has to be formatted to a margin of five. And then you're done. And you can read and scroll up and down all the information about your game. And that's about it. You put your ROM. In here, name it game one dot gen. Doesn't matter what type of ROM it is, just rename it game one dot gen. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Test it on DML. Not Redream. Not Flycast. DML or hardware. All right, so enough of that. Here's the VMU that comes up on the texture when your game loads and when the menu loads. I've already discussed how easy this is to uh, fix. All you have to do is open it up in GIMP, no other paint one, and make sure you copy your file to it and then overwrite. Do not create a new file because the file has to be exactly 386 bytes. All right. So that's all there is to it. We'll go on to showing it working in a second. Thank you very much. It's been Ian Michael. I'll see you on the other part of the video. And of course, I almost forgot. All you have to do is click this build here, build it. It is now building your self-boot CDI. Okay, creation is complete. There's your self-boot CDI right there for you to run, burn. And that is the completion. It's a two-click tool. You do the artwork, put in the Genesis game, the video. The video can be anything. It can be the same movie as the game. It can be a demonstration of from your um, website, whatever it can be. That's up to you to find a use for it. I was asked to do it, and I have done it. Okay, see you on the other side. Hello, it's Ian Michael. Yeah, you get to see my head there. So, this is um, Genesis Auto Porter version 3, running on hardware. See it on there. Alright, so, let's go to the text file viewer for the, one of the new applications, plugins. I made it more simple as the intro. Got a tiny bit of surprise. This is the first that I know of. Uh, easy to use text file viewer. You just put a simple text file uh, named info dot text and it's pretty much unlimited amount of text. It'll scroll. It's fast scrolling. Uh, you've got 
that background that moves uh, you can customize that it also moves through colors the same with the outside all right so and also loading back it has a nice loading screen now we're back to the main application that there you change with your information that actually hides the loading time in between otherwise it'll be a black screen we don't want black screens there's the new um, you know between intro it's pretty radical yeah pretty radical anyway so now we can go to the video This plays your MPEG video that I showed the creation of. It is on sync and the best quality possible. Much higher than anything else in Homebrew before. It's full PVR accelerated MPEG playback with YUV conversion on the GPU. Alright, so we'll go back now. Yes. Koala's taking a break today, but he is going to be joined by a friend, Mr. Wombat, very soon. There we go, we go into the... it goes right back there. Now we start the game. The Genesis game. If you want to auto-port. Homebrew, etc. Left analog, analog up, exit, and you're back to the main application where you can view the information. It could be a manual, it could be your company information, it could be anything in the text file viewer. You can also theme it to match whatever logos and company. Same with that up there. It's all themable. These are all placeholders. I'm not an artist. That's themable as well. There we go, and that's also themable. That is just a... That what you're looking at there, the artwork, is just a demonstration. You can create any sort of menu you want. You have Y, A, and B. The background... The background you see rotating with the cube, you can cover up. If you make it non-trans, you will not see it. If you make little holes in the trans, you will see the little bits and pieces, and you can create a variety of different effects by doing that. It's up to you. It's up to your imagination. Alright, that's Ian Michael. This is the end of the IMR Porter. Don't forget, I have Patron. And thank you to patrons that support me and buy a coffee. It's up there somewhere. Uh, there is a new IMR homebrew show coming, which is about 40 minutes. And I have got a lot to show. And it'll be higher quality than usual. You'll have random bits, dev bits, something new, something old, and pretty fantastic. Well, you know, for IMR technology, that is. And that's coming soon. We also could have um, interviews with devs coming up as well. You know, if they hold out their end of the market. So, I'll see you in a future video. Farewell. <laughs>